Hello learners, welcome to today's lesson. This is a quick revision on area approximation under trapezium rule. But in case you have just bumped into this channel for the first time, kindly subscribe, hit the notification bell below so that anytime we produce a video like this, you will automatically be notified. Let us go through the question together. Use trapezium rule to find the area under the curve y is equals to x squared plus 1 between x is equals to 1 and x is equals to 7 uh, is equals to 15 using 7 strips. Under trapezium rule, the first thing the student is supposed to do it is to calculate the height and for us to get the height we take the maximum value of x which is 15 minus the minimum value of x which is 1 we divide by the number of strips mentioned and in this case we have 7 strips if you take 15 minus 1 will give you 14 14 divided by 7 you get 2 units that is our height from there you develop a table having two rows that is the row having the values of x and the one having the values of y which represent the widths under trapezium rule in this case we have x and again we have y we begin with the value of x which is minimum then we shall be adding the height so that we can get the next strip so if you take one you add two we are going to have three then to get the next value you take three you add the height you get five and if you take five you add two it will give you seven if you take seven you add the height it will give you nine and if you take nine plus two you get eleven and if you take eleven you add 2, you are going to get 13. Then, of course, you take 13 plus 2, you are going to get 15. And that is where we stop since we are supposed to find the area between x is equal to 1 and x is equal to 15. From there, we use the values of x to get the values of y. And those are the values that we are going to use to calculate the area. To get the first value of y here, we are going to substitute the value of x in this equation. Let me put it down here so that we can easily get it right. So to get y in the first column, our value of x is 1. So 1 squared will be 1. You add 1, you are going to get 2. Then our next value of x is 3. So 3 squared will give you 9. 9 plus 1, you get 10. The next value of x is 5. 5 squared is 25 plus 1, you get 26. Next we have 7. So 7 squared will give you 49 plus 1. The answer is 50. The 9 squared here will give you 81. 81 plus 1 will give you 82. The next we have 11 squared will give you 121. 121 plus 1 will give you 122. The next, the value of x is 13. Therefore, 13 squared will give you 169. 169 plus 1 will give you 170. And next, we have the value of x is 15. 15 squared is 225. You add 1, the answer is 226. Once you have done that, you come in number these y's. The first one is usually given y0, then we go to y1, y2, y3, y4, y5, y6, and lastly we have y7 since we have seven strips. y0 and y7 are the ends and of course y1 to y6 at the middles. In short, to get the area under trapezium rule, we take half times the height into the sum of the ends, that is y0 and y7, plus 
twice the sum of middles. In this case, we go ahead and substitute. We have half times 2 into sum of the ends, that is we have 2 plus 226 plus we have twice into the sum of the middles and the middles begin from 10 plus we have 26 plus we have 50 plus we have 82 plus we have 122 and lastly in the middle we have here is 170. From there half times 2 will give us 1 into we have 2 plus 226 which will give us 228 plus twice into let us sum up all the middles we have 10 plus 26 plus 50 plus 82 plus 122 plus 170 and this one gives us 460 that one gives us 460 if you take 460 times 2 we have 920 920 you add 228 you are going to get 1148 square units and that is the answer to this question